Good morning everyone, it's Kitty here and we are day 4 in Vietnam. Today we'll be exploring Hue. Let's go! So we're now here, arrive at Hue Airport. Uh, so uh, flying from Hanoi, and we fly with Vietjet. And um, to be honest, I hate Vietjet because there's like a uh, bit so many delays, so many people complain. But I'm glad we've uh, flown. We've flown business with them, so like, you get like very, very special treatment. <laughs> we don't have to share a. Uh, a bus with anyone. We got escorted to a our own bed. So it was really good. The services, I love it. It was kind of like takeaway, kind of, but it was amazing. It was good. It was really good. Soon we arrive where early. I think it's around 7 a.m. So we can't check in our hotel yet. We headed straight to do our first activity of the day. So here we are at King Salom Masalam. This is the tomb of the first emperor of the Nguyen dynasty. And of course, when coming to such places like this, please follow the regulations. If you want to know more about this place in detail, scan the QR code. And there will be information about it both in English and Vietnamese that you can read it about. And uh, so this is like a virtual of the muscling um, and you can go through it and see different kind of places um, within this. So it's like a, a virtual tour like that you can do. Okay, let's walk through this place and see what it's actually like in real life. So this place is also called Hien Tha Masalam, about 20 kilometers from the heart of the Emperor Hue city. The tomb complex of the first king and founder of the Nguyen dynasty um, from 1802 to 1945, which was also the last federal dynasty in Vietnam. The current country name of Vietnam was officially used in this dynasty built between 1814 to 1820. Zalong Mausoleum complex encompasses a multitude of temples and tombs of King and his royal family members. The complex can be divided in three main parts, excluding other structures. They are the tomb of King and his first queen, Min Tan Temple, where the king and his first queen are worshipped, and Bidin, where the giant stone still is preserved. So here we are walking to the king and queen tomb. This mausoleum is the only place where the tombs of the king and his queen are put in parallel. The two stone tombs lie together with the king's tombs on the left and the queen's on the right. So next, we are heading to Huynh Khom Sang Thung Pagoda. This pagoda belonged to Theravada Buhus, was built in 1989. It is surrounded by pine forests and green mountains. That is the main reason why people visit this place to relieve stress and recharge. Around the pagoda is verdant pine forest of about 50 hectares. Also, the path to pagoda is winding like a ferry. If you follow the path leading to the pagoda, you will witness the harmonious landscape with your own eyes. It all evoke a watercolor painting with tranquility, birds chirping. You will feel the sonority that permeate the space, from the bushes and the trees to the calligraphy and the rustic architecture. These are very delicately carved. This 
is the Buddha where he didn't eat at all, just drink water. Walking to Ting Mo Pagoda, which is the the most famous pagoda in Hue, like it's a must. You gotta go. Iconic. There we go. <laughs> To the left of the tower is a pavilion sheltering an enormous bell. The bell called the Aihong Chung was casted in 1710 by Long Wing Fuk Chu. It is famous for the Great Sai, which is 2.5 meters in height and weighs 3,283 kilograms. We're going to the main hall of this pagoda. A relic car of Thit Wang Duk, the car which carried the monk Thit Wang Duk, where Wang Duk himself immolation was done to protest alleged persecutions of Buddhists of the policy of Saigon region that time. Then we headed for lunch at Huyen An 3 for some Hue special tea rice paper roll and grilled pork noodles. It costs about $2 per serving, super delicious and cheap. And our last stop for the day before heading back to the hotel is Hue Imperial Citadel. This palace was built by the first king of the Nguyen dynasty, King Zalong, and was completed in 1832. It is almost 10 km in circumference. The royal citadel consists of more than 100 fascinating architectural works devised in numerous sections. I usually when I go to Vietnam, I don't go to places like this and uh, to see like this kind of thing, like history in each of the cities, really cool. She changed her mind. Now, even though it's very hot, she still want to get try on the ao yai and take photos. Look at her Look at her My pants, it's farming pants. <laughs> to be honest, I don't look great either. Look at my hair. Have changed into this outfit right here, and we are in the Queen uh, Palace where she lives. Wow, it's like in the movie, you know, like the the, the Chinese back in the day. This is the mini version of the whole Imperial Palace. Here are some videos from our filming resort and pictures of the outfit I have hired. This outfit was mostly wear by the royal back in the day um, and it costs around $23 to hire it and you just need to return it by the end of the day. And one fun fact, did you know that skirt was banned in 1826 by Emperor Ming Mang? Electric uh, car for like for like 
20 Australian dollars. Um, you hire for one hour. But yeah, this is the end of today's tour. I'm done. <laughs> So yeah, that's it, it for another eventful day in Vietnam, exploring the Hue city. Hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment and share the video. Until next time, bye!